clipping masks allow you to take an image and mask it to another image. Or you can take a text and mask an image from another layer or from another image. This is an example. I'm going to show you how, what clipping masks do. Then I'm going to show you how to do them. So first of all, I have this Photoshop document. And I can turn on this clipping mask. And let me just show you. I take the text and I have the image show through the text right here. That is a clipping mask. I can do it with other things, not just an image. Let's say I want to do it with this image of this person. I'm going to go ahead and create a clipping mask there as well. And you can see I can select that layer and I can move it around the layer of the silhouette and I can get the silhouette around anywhere on the image. Let me show you how you can create your own clipping mask inside of Photoshop. So I have this image open. When you open an image by default, it is locked, and you can see that right here, and it is labeled background. The first thing I want to do is unlock the background layer by double clicking. This dialog box comes up to change the name. I'm just going to hit OK. So this is layer 0, 